What is up YouTube? It's your boy Robski. It's January 7th, 2020. I hope you guys are all having a great new year. Okay. Um, I'm. This has been one of the best Christmas seasons of my life. A lot of good things have been happening. A few bad, but mostly good. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about my experiences with it. Um, one, congratulations to the 49ers. Um, still having a great year. I Raheem Mostert, Kittle, Bosa, all those guys, congratulations. Uh, we had a big win against the Seahawks a couple weeks ago, and um, that was in Seattle, so I was, I was really happy about that. Um, I, I have, it's been seven days since the New Year's, and I have been sober. And I made a commitment to myself to be completely sober for 2020, just to see what would happen. Um, so far, it's been one of the best decisions of my life. I, I am sleeping great. I feel fantastic. Um, the body really is a strange thing, but, uh, once you like get rid of all the toxins, I just, I just feel so much better. Um, I want to talk to you guys kind of the reasons why I drank, um, the, the main reasons why I drank was because I was avoiding something. Okay. I'm trying to to do something that's really, really difficult and I failed and I, I don't, I, I don't like how, I, I don't really like how, I don't like my status in, in this earth. Like I don't like my social status. Um, I, I, I wanted, it's like when I was in high school, I, I was this guy, um, you know, I, I was the go-to guy. I was a three sport you know, good grades guy. And it, it all just seems kind of like a, a, a fake, it's, it's a false reality. And, and my dad references too. He's talked about, well, you know, you kind of have a false sense of reality. Um, I love Potlatch, Idaho. I love those people. Um, they're very dear to my heart. Um, and it has nothing to do with them. And, and like I said, same thing with guys in college too. Um, you know, so what I'm trying to do is I, I'm trying to do something very difficult. I'm not really going to say it um, because it's, it's just kind of a personal thing, but it, it's a, it has something to do with athletics. And um, I felt I've, I've been falling short. And so in order to do that, I, I drank, drank. So I went out with my buddy Steve and, and we went out um, last Saturday and I was able to hang out all night and I was at a bar. And I didn't have a drink. I just didn't drink. It was weird. Um, <laughs> because I met this girl, um, you know, well, she was, she was bisexual, but, uh, you know, she liked me a lot. And, uh, it, it was just, it was weird how that works because, you know, that's another thing is like, you know, I think guys do this. Um, you know, girls always say that one of the most one of the most attractive traits on a man is confidence. And it's like with guys, you know, it's like, well, we think alcohol goes hand in hand with having sex or, or doing that. And I guess, I guess it doesn't, um, you know, this is, it, it's funny because I, I went out and I, I, I got, you know, I, I partied, I got drunk. And this situation never happened, even when I was looking for it. And then I just simply, I just decided I'm going to stay sober and I'm just going to hang out with my buddies. And then I was able to get a woman, you know, it's weird how that works. Um, but again, you know, at this point in time, that was the wrong woman for me. Um, nothing happened. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm kind of in a transition phase and I want to increase my market value. Okay. I want to become a more valuable man on the market. Okay. Now, um, while we're saying this, you know, there's, there's plenty of YouTube videos about, you know, college and all this stuff. Um, minimum wage, the, it's coming up with politics. And this is what I've, I listened to Patrick Bet David and, and he explained this very, very good. And I want people to understand this is kind of the reality of the world. Okay. When it comes to, when it comes to making money, when it comes to being successful, this is the reality, okay? Um, getting good grades does not increase your market value. 
It has the potential to increase your market value, but it does not, not increase your market value. When your market value gets increased, you simply get paid more. Simple as that. Simple as that. Keep it simple. So, so cut through all the crap. Okay. Your market value is when you get paid more. Regardless. So what I'm trying to say is like, if you have a medical student, right? So say someone's in med school. Okay. They have the potential. They have the potential to have a high market value, but that doesn't mean they will. In fact, a lot of people don't. And that's the problem is that, um, you know, when you go to med school or any type of school, it's a flat out gamble financially. Okay. The reason why you go and do this is so you can increase your market value, i.e. make more money. Okay. So it does not matter if you have potential. It matters if you're there. That's how the, the quote unquote real world works. Okay. So again, you know, you could get straight A's in high school and college and if you, and, and you can get, you know, you can pass all your med school stuff, but if you don't pass the exam, your market value is pretty much zero. Okay. Until you start making money. It's that simple. So what with all this stuff with all this education stuff look pick a field and become the one percent and that's what i'm trying to do that's what i'm trying to do by the way i'm trying to become the one percent okay and it's 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 so difficult that i mean i just it, it, it's 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 my giant i'm trying to defeat this giant and um the reason why I, I just avoided it. I, I was intimidated by it and I avoided it. And at least I'm sober and acknowledging that that's the reason. Okay. It's funny. I look back, you know, I look back on my mid twenties and, um, I, I've always been, I've always considered myself and I think people have always considered me a social drinker. Okay. So, um, they didn't, um, you know, I'm a social guy. I, apparently I'm a likable guy. Some people hate my guts. They do. Some people, some people absolutely hate me. And, um, a lot of that might be my fault. Uh, I, I really don't care anymore. Um, it just does, it's kind of irrelevant. Those people are, are just irrelevant, um, in my past. And I, I see, that's the thing is, you know, I can choose. That's why people need to really put social media in kind of perspective because the reality is, is you have the choice. You, you, that's, what's great is you have the choice to put yourself into any environment that you want. You have the choice. You don't have to do, you know, for example, um, you know, I was in this fraternity and I still have a lot of friends that were in this particular fraternity, um, you know, and, and overall the fraternity was a good experience. It was, it was a good experience for me in my opinion. Um, but there were, there was a particular member who kind of, I don't want to say he, you know, he basically, he implied something that, you know, it shouldn't have been put on social media. So it was definitely, you know, when you're in a fraternity, you kind of take a, well, you're supposed, first of all, you know, you're supposed to be your brothers, you know, and, and you're supposed to, you're supposed to kind of keep things, you know, in the family. Well, he kind of let some things out that he shouldn't have said. And he kind of said something that implied something that whatever, you know, but the great thing is, is I don't, it's, it's not a big deal because I, I never see this guy, you know, I, I don't have anything to do with those people. And it's not that I don't want to, it's just that that's just how it is. They're not a part of my life anymore. Um, the people I went to college and high school with, you know, it's like a lot of people like me, some people don't. And, um, I just don't have to deal with anymore. You just, you just go away. And the whole thing with like, you know, are you right? Are you left? Are you, are you a liberal or leftist or progressive or Republican or conservative? It does not matter. The reality is, reality is, is it one peop you're, you're not, you're not, I, I, it's my opinion that you're not going to change somebody's core beliefs. So there, there is a YouTube video about this, about, um, you know, what your brain is triggered to do 
And I, I do think there's a genetic component about it. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to, you're not going to change people's core values and no, no matter, you know, I work in sales now and I can kind of understand this is at the end of the day, I mean, people are going to believe what they want to believe and most likely they're not going to change the minds of the others. You know, that's why there's such a hatred and such a, um, such a bitterness between these parties. It's the same thing with Christian denominations. Oh, the Catholics are wrong. The Mormons are wrong. The, you know, the Baptists, you no, know, this, you know, the evangelists are the only way. No, Mormonism is the only way. It's the same deal. And, and, and you get a choice. That's what, that's what's great is, is you can just simply say, I disagree and I'm going to go somewhere else. That's it. That's it. No, nothing. It doesn't have to get violent. It doesn't have to, you know, you just simply choose to do this. So again, um, getting sober, I, I've been sober since, uh, seven days now, and I never thought I'd be one of these guys. Cause like I said, I, I don't even think I was drunk. Like I, you know, I had some nights, yeah, where I got, you know, blacked out, but I, I just did this. Um, I was just like, you know, I'll do every activity that I used to do. Like I'll still, I'll go to a casino. I'll go to concerts. I'll go to bars. I just simply will not have alcohol and just see what happens. And that's what I did. And it turned out great. It's going to save me a bunch of money and I don't have to, you know, do any Ubers or anything more because I'm sober. It's great. I'm looking forward to 2020. It's been great so far. Um, now, again, I just want to reiterate that there's a lot of people I miss and there's a lot of people that I wish more people than not. I miss more people than not, I think like me, um, it's just a select few. So, um, other than that, uh, I hope everyone's out there is good in YouTube land. Um, remember we got a lot, there's a lot of things going on in the media. Um, at the end of the day, you know, I think this next, this upcoming election, it's really going to get blown out of control. If, you know, and, and again, you're going to see, I mean, there, there's definitely some changes. I've even considered um, moving out of the country um, with my job. You know, I work for AT&T now. I've, I've considered leaving. Um, again, I will always love this country and I'm always loyal. Like I said, I'm a soldier. Um, I'm literally a soldier. Like I didn't do much in the military, but I did, I did do enough to be classified as a soldier. And, um, you know, I'm just, I mean, I've considered leaving the country, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, um, seven days sober, love and life. Um, gotta go to work today. I get to go to work. I'm privileged. I get to go work. I, I'm blessed about that. Um, you know, I just, uh, I want to do this other thing and I want to face my, my problems and at least go after it. So it's Robski. I'm out. You guys have a great day.